Here's a quick video on something called super cool liquids. So you might have heard the term and wonder what it is. And so I wanted to throw a little bit of that in here. It is actually possible to take some water and start at a temperature above freezing and, and rapidly cool the water down until hit the freezing point of water. At that point, you would expect ice to form in the water and the ice to freeze, uh, freeze solid. I mean, the water to freeze solid into the ice as you continue to remove heat. So imagine here that we're moving heat at a constant rate. And um, so normally you would see the, the equilibrium phase between the water and the, and the ice. And for a time, as long as you continue to remove heat, more and more of the water would then turn into ice until all the water has turned to ice and then the ice would continue to cool down. But sometimes, under very special circumstances, you can actually continue to cool down the water and the water will remain as liquid and not turn into ice. What are those conditions necessary? Well, it turns out you want to have pure water and it has to be what we call free of nucleation sites, free of things in the water, so any kind of impurities or any, kind, any, any sort of abnormality in the water where ice crystal can begin to form. Um, of course, if you already have an ice crystal in there, then it just kind of mushrooms from there and ice continues to form. But if it's free from any of those what we call nucleation sites, water can continue to cool down well below its, the freezing point of water. We've had cases where we get down to minus 48.3 degrees centigrade and it would still be liquid water. But at that point, if you introduce any sort of impurity or an ice crystal or something like that around which ice can form, then of course, as the water is at this low temperature, very, very quickly, the water will turn into solid ice. And that is quite a sight to see when it just quickly goes from water into ice. But uh, that is also only under very, certain, very special circumstances. You would have a really hard time to try to do this experiment at home. Again, you need pure water. You need to be completely free of, of any kind of uh, impurities and completely free of any kind of what we call nucleation sites. And yes, indeed, that can actually happen. So it is possible. Very unlikely, you have to have very special laboratory circumstances in which you can make this happen. But strange enough, it does happen. We can have liquid water at well below freezing temperatures.